March 23rd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 11 and 12 from the Old Testament. You must love the Lord your God and do what he requires. Keep his statutes, ordinances, and commandments at all times. Bear in mind today that I am not speaking to your children who have not personally experienced the judgments of the Lord your God, which revealed his greatness, strength, and power. They did not see the awesome deeds he performed in the midst of Egypt against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and his whole land, or what he did to the army of Egypt, including their horses and chariots, when he made the waters of the Red Sea overwhelm them while they were pursuing you, and he annihilated them. They did not see what he did to you in the desert before you reached this place, or what he did to Dathan and Abiram, sons of Eliab, the Reubenite, when the earth opened its mouth in the middle of the Israelite camp and swallowed them, their families, their tents, and all the property they brought with them. I am speaking to you because you are the ones who saw all the great deeds of the Lord. Now pay attention to all the commandments I am giving you today, so that you may be strong enough to enter and possess the land where you are headed and that you may enjoy long life in the land the Lord promised to give to your ancestors and their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land where you are headed is not like the land of Egypt from which you came, a land where you planted seed and which you irrigated by hand like a vegetable garden. Instead, the land you are crossing the Jordan to occupy is one of hills and valleys, a land that drinks in water from the rains, a land the Lord your God looks after. He is constantly attentive to it from the beginning to the end of the year. Now if you pay close attention to my commandments that I am giving you today and love the Lord your God and serve him with all your mind and being, then he promises I will send rain for your land in its season, the autumn and the spring rains, so that you may gather in your grain, new wine, and olive oil. I will provide pastures for your livestock, and you will eat your fill. Make sure you do not turn away to serve and worship other gods. Then the anger of the Lord will erupt against you, and he will close up the sky so that it does not rain. The land will not yield its produce, and you will soon be removed from the good land that the Lord is about to give you. Fix these words of mine into your mind and being, and tie them as a reminder on your hands, and let them be symbols on your forehead. Teach them to your children and speak of them as you sit in your house, as you walk along the road, as you lie down, and as you get up. Inscribe them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates, so that your days and those of your descendants may be extended in the land which the Lord promised to give to your ancestors, like the days of heaven itself. For if you carefully observe all of these commandments I am giving you, and love the Lord your God, live according to his standards and remain loyal to him, then he will drive out all these nations ahead of you, and you will dispossess nations greater and stronger than you. Every place you set your foot will be yours. Your border will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the river that is the Euphrates as far as the Mediterranean Sea. Nobody will be able to resist you. The Lord, your God, will spread the fear and terror of you over the whole land on which you walk, just as he promised you. Take note, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing if you take to heart the commandments of the Lord, your God, that I am giving you today. And the curse if you pay no attention to his commandments and turn from the way I am setting before you today to pursue other gods you have not known. When the Lord your God brings you into the land you are to possess, you must pronounce the blessings on Mount Gerizim and the curse on Mount Ebal. Are they not across the Jordan River toward the west in the land of the Canaanites who live in the Arabah opposite Gilgal near the Oak of Morah? For you are about to cross the Jordan to possess the land the Lord your God is giving you, and you will possess and inhabit it. Be certain to keep all the statutes and ordinances that I am presenting to you today. These are the statutes and ordinances you must be careful to obey as long as you live in the land the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has given you to possess. 
you must by all means destroy all the places where the nations you are about to dispossess worship their gods, on the high mountains and hills and under every leafy tree. You must tear down their altars, shatter their sacred pillars, burn up their sacred Asherah poles, and cut down the images of their gods. You must eliminate their very memory from that place. You must not worship the Lord your God the way they worship, but you must seek only the place he chooses from all your tribes to establish his name as his place of residence, and you must go there. And there you must take your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, the personal offerings you have prepared, your votive offerings, your free will offerings, and the firstborn of your herds and flocks. Both you and your families must feast there before the Lord your God and rejoice in all the output of your labor with which he has blessed you. You must not do like we are doing here today with everyone doing what seems best to him. For you have not yet come to the final stop and inheritance the Lord your God is giving you. When you do go across the Jordan River and settle in the land he is granting you as an inheritance, and you find relief from all the enemies who surround you, you will live in safety. Then you must come to the place the Lord your God chooses for his name to reside, bringing everything I am commanding you, your burnt offerings, sacrifices, tithes, the personal offerings you have prepared, and all your choice votive offerings which you devote to him. You shall rejoice in the presence of the Lord your God along with your sons, daughters, male and female servants, and the Levites in your village, since they have no allotment or inheritance with you. Make sure you do not offer burnt offerings in any place you wish. For you may do so only in the place the Lord chooses in one of your tribal areas. There you may do everything I am commanding you. On the other hand, you may slaughter and eat meat as you please when the Lord your God blesses you in all your villages. Both the ritually pure and impure may eat it, whether it is a gazelle or an ibex. However, you must not eat blood, pour it out on the ground like water. You will not be allowed to eat in your villages your tithe of grain, new wine, olive oil, the firstborn of your herd and flock, any votive offerings you have vowed, or your free will and personal offerings. Only in the presence of the Lord your God may you eat these in the place he chooses. This applies to you, your son, your daughter, your male and female servants, and the Levites in your villages. In that place you will rejoice before the Lord your God in all the output of your labor. Be careful not to overlook the Levites as long as you live in the land. When the Lord your God extends your borders as he said he would do, and you say, I want to eat meat just as I please, you may do so as you wish. If the place he chooses to locate his name is too far for you, you may slaughter any of your herd and flock he has given you, just as I have stipulated. You may eat them in your villages just as you wish. Like you eat the gazelle or ibex, so you may eat these. The ritually impure and pure alike may eat them. However, by no means eat the blood, for the blood is life itself. You must not eat the life with the meat. You must not eat it. You must pour it out on the ground like water. You must not eat it so that it may go well with you and your children after you. You will be doing what is right in the Lord's sight. Only the holy things and votive offerings that belong to you, you must pick up and take to the place the Lord will choose. You must offer your burnt offerings, both meat and blood, on the altar of the Lord your God. The blood of your other sacrifices you must pour out on his altar while you eat the meat. Pay careful attention to all these things I am commanding you, so that it may always go well with you and your children after you, when you do what is good and right in the sight of the Lord your God. When the Lord your God eliminates the nations from the place where you are headed, and you dispossess them, you will settle down in their land. After they have been destroyed from your presence, be careful not to be ensnared like they are. Do not pursue their gods and say, how do these nations serve their gods? I will do the same. 
You must not worship the Lord your God the way they do. For everything that is abhorrent to him, everything he hates, they have done when worshiping their gods. They even burn up their sons and daughters before their gods. You must be careful to do everything I am commanding you. Do not add to it or subtract from it. God, I wonder if we truly understand how much you protect us. We have to understand, and I think we do a good job of hiding it, that there is truly evil in this world. The Bible's really clear that the devil is a factual thing, person, whatever you want to call him, whose sole intent is to distract us from your message. So when you're talking to Israel about pay careful attention to all these things I am commanding you, So that it may always go well with you and your children after you when you do what is good and right in the sight of the Lord your God. It's not only obedience. It's not just humbling ourselves. But it is this amazing protection and love that you have for your children. In this world, it is so incredibly easy to get distracted Uh, By the things of the world. It's incredible because here you're trying to keep them away from devil worship. From sacrificing their children. But in today's day and age. It's as easy as turning on your TV or your computer. Or walking into the mall nowadays. To be distracted by worldly things. And things that will lead you down into sin and distract you. From exactly what you're telling us to pay careful attention to. God, I don't think we know, or most people in this world don't understand how powerful that war is constantly going on for you trying to get us to pay attention to the walk that you have for us versus what the devil has planned for us and how distracting he's trying to be. I don't, I don't say these things to scare anybody, but I guess being a, being scared and, and, And fearful of your power, God, I think maybe that's a good thing. (sighs) I don't know. I do know in the end you win. That That is awesome. I do know that we're human and we're going to mess up. But I also know that the world has become an incredibly distracting place where the devil truly has his thumbprint on everything. And I am not a devil under every doily type of person (laughs) at all. Even when I see bad things, I, th- I see good in them. I wear pink colored glasses all the time. But I, I would be naive to think that there's not just a constant war going on. That as much as you want us to pay attention and, and follow the path that you've asked us to go on. And to be obedient to you. The devil in his ugliness. And being as evil as he is has got to want exactly the opposite for us. Just as bad. God, today, just like you told the Israelites, let me walk in your light. Let me not walk in the darkness. Let me not see the darkness. Let me not be of this world. Not just today, but for the rest of my life. I want to be your obedient child. Not just because you'll love me and protect me, but because of how much I truly love you. And I'm in awe of your grace and your mercy and your forgiveness. All the things I totally don't deserve. You have every right to just turn me over to the evilness of this world. And for that, I thank you every single day that you haven't done that. I wouldn't survive more than two seconds out there in the evilness at all. Not when I know what the light is. God, please continue to protect me. Please continue to protect everyone listening to this today. Please continue to protect their families and their friends. Please continue to protect all your children. Help guide us in the path of the light. In your son's name, we desperately pray. Amen.